hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm hori you're watching possible now so guys today i'm going to guide you about that how you can fix all kind of crashes and errors in bleach rebirth of souls on your system and this video is going to be really interesting guys so just watch the video till the end and if you're new in this channel kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe the channel for more content and without any waste of time let's start the video so guys first of all we need to update our graphics driver so for this we need to open the geforce experience and uh, for nvidia user first you need to go to your driver section here and simply click on check for updates it will take some time just wait for it and just after a few minutes it will install the latest driver in your system and for amd user guys you can do the same step in your redon software and once it's done the second thing is we need to verify the game files so simply open your steam account find your game uh, right click on your game and select properties and go to the install files option and here we need to click on verify integrity of game files it will take some time so just wait for it and once the verification is complete uh, launch your game and check your problem is resolved or not and uh, after that guys the next thing is we need to install the latest DirectX and visual retribution files in our system so for this we need to visit the official website of DirectX and download the latest DirectX in your system so here is the setup accept the agreement click to next install the bing bar it's optional so accept here click to next and wait for it maybe it takes some time so just wait for it and just after a few minutes it's done click to finish get back and now move to the visual retribution folder visit the official website of visual retribution and download all visual files in your system so here is the batch file run this batch file and it will automatically install all the files in your system and uh, you just need to click to yes click to ok and rather of these steps it will automatically perform perform and uh, if you're new in the channel guys kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and just follow my uh, lead you see on the screen and just after a few minutes it's done now with the back steps are complete and now move to the next part and now we need to close some background applications uh, so for this we need to go to the research bar and in here we need to type settings and here we need to go to the privacy section and in general there are four options turn off all of them down below go to your background apps and turn off all the background apps running in your background get back and now move to the gaming section here and now here we need to uh, turn off the game bar option also capture setting turn it off and only enable your game mode here especially if you have a low end pc and uh, after that now we need to remove some junk or bad files in our system so for this we need to press window key plus r and here we need to type prefetch p r e f e t c h press ok click to continue Control a select all and delete all of these bad files in your system Again, press window key plus R and this time use the second command percentage temp temp again percentage. Press OK, control A, select all and also delete these junk or bad files in our system. Skip the step. Again, skip this, skip this. And don't worry, these all are like junk or bad files, so simply delete these uh, files and once the files deleted from here you need to remove these files also from the recycle bin. so guys uh, it's done now the last thing we apply here is we need to open your task manager and here we need to uh, check your cpu memory from the performance section here because most of the time due to heavy load on your uh, cpu your game crashes and you face different kind of error and um, uh, messages and that's why we need to free the cpu memory from here simply find these kind of application or programs that takes the cpu memory simply right click on that kind of applications and end task it and once your cpu memory is free 
you're good to go you're ready to launch your game and now you can play your game without any lag freezing and stuttering or any kind of crash um, that you faced before and uh, that's it guys i hope uh, your problem is fixed now and uh, if you found this video helpful kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out